so yesterday while I was fishing by the dock well by the by my house really I found this baby turtle it's about the size of a quarter and I showed him to my wife and she told me that I can't keep him so I'm about to put him back okay so baby turtle this is where I found him over here in this little area here so I'm just gonna let him go back you know I told my wife that you know I wanted to keep him because you know they are snapping turtle food you know snapping turtles eat other turtles along, along with other other animals so I'm just going to place him back right there and that's that what's up people welcome back to the channel and in today's video it's going to be another one of those i don't know what's gonna happen i'm mainly because i enjoy doing videos like this where we're all in the suspense of not knowing what's gonna happen so that's what i'm going to do but i believe i'm going to take out three baits but let's get everything ready and get on the water oh Okay, so this is really awkward for me because it's a different camera angle. You guys are on top of my head instead of on my chest. So let's hope that we can get some good angles. The reason why I chose to do this angle is because I'm going to attempt to do some top water. And because I'm trying to attempt some top water, I wanted you guys to be able to see in the direction that I am looking because that's where I'm going to be throwing my bait is in that direction, you know, so of course I've got to look that way. I'm going to start out with this Mega Bass Pop Max and we're going to hope that we can get some good footage because if not, then we are just out of luck. We're just going to hope that today ends up really, really well and that I'm not messing up by putting on this headgear. Oh, well, you guys saw that. Something attacked it. We missed it. I can't believe we missed it. Vicious. That was back there. Oh god, there, I know you guys saw that blow up back there. That's crazy. Come on, blow up on this thing. Always. Alright, let me get out of his way though. Because, you know, I don't like being in people's ways. You know, gotta be courteous. I like to be courteous, so I'm There we go. There we go. Is a bite. He's peeing all over me. Cool. Really cool. Right there. First fish on the popper. That's really awesome. It's a small one pounder. Thanks for biting. Ooh, yeah, he's mad. I'd be mad too. I'm not gonna lie. If I was a fish and I got hooked, I'd be pissed. Super pissed. 
I'm going to make my way around this fast boat. Hopefully he doesn't get upset with me for going around. I'm going to try and stay as far away from him as I can. Because, you know, I don't like bothering people. Let's get out of the way. This guy. get too close. I don't want to ruin his chances of catching something. So I'm gonna come out far and then around. That's a cool boat though. Uh pretty well how about you man? What was that? Uh, just one on the other side of this boat right here. Like I didn't, I didn't have much luck that that whole stretch from that red shack, the red uh little shed. I, I haven't had much luck. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna fish along, hopefully. I mean, I'm hoping he already came this way, which, you know, more than likely he has. But I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna fish along this area in hopes. That's something. I am, I am fishing top water, so he might have some good luck over that way. Nothing. He might, he might not have been spawning over. He might not have been making a bed. Again, I don't know where all this guy has been, but I'm assuming he came straight over this way. Because, in my opinion, this part of the lake where I live is the most productive. You know, I tend to get way more bites. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, you hooked, son. You hooked. Stunned. Stunned. So I de-weaponized you. Oh, I'm going under here into the danger noodle area. Another small one though. That's what I like about this bait is the small ones will eat it as well. Thanks for biting. Like, I feel like this thing is just, just wobbly on my head. Oh my God, look at that, look at that. That was crazy. And I didn't throw it in there on time. And I, man, I just like how I can go slow with this one, but it's moving. There we go. There we go. That's one. Oh, yes. Yeah. That was cool. That was a nice blow up, too. Awesome. A little, but dude, that was a. Dude, he wanted that one. He hit it hard. He's like a little bit bigger than a magra. He's like a seven inch magra right there. Cool. I hope I'm showing to you guys properly. Thanks for riding, dude. Switch up. That was fun. That was really cool. Throw this. The old popper around. Now, let's see how the normal size 
well, you know, the generic sized underspin does. You know, and I say normal size because it's a 4.3. If you don't catch any fish on here, it's a boring last hour. I might have to pull out the wacky rig. Just hope. Out a little bit. Let that guy sink. This one kind of thing is sitting out there. Just waiting. There we go. There we go. Tossed it up. Nice. Nice one. Oh, he took my worm. That's a good one, though. Like, it literally spit my, took my worm off the ring. How does that happen? How does that happen? I guess I'm gonna need to put a new ring on there. That's a, that's a two. That is a two. I had a feeling the wacky rig was gonna help me out today. Let's uh, get that in there. Here we go. Two point two two <laughs> two pounds five ounces. <laughs> I couldn't say it. That's so funny. But there we go. A two pound five ounce fish. It's just sitting out there. Like he was just out off the like in the deep. Like, not too deep, but it's like a ledge over here, like from shallow. So, we'll let him go. Thanks for biting. We can pull up. There we go. Mm. Nice one. Nice one. That's another two right there. I had a feeling throwing it out, man. Just had that weird feeling that tossing it out that way. It would just work out. Two seven. Two pounds, seven ounces. That's not bad. Not bad. I had just had that feeling to go deeper. But that's it. Two seven right there, guys. Two seven. Thanks for biting. And that's two on the wacky rig, like these bigger guys. See, I had small ones on that popper, but I throw the wacky rig and I get the two pounders. That was, that's not bad. This is last cast right here, last cast. Last cast, and then we gotta go back. All right, this one for real, last cast. Because I gotta get back. Because I got stuff to do. Okay, so we are back. But that was a great day of fishing. I didn't catch a lot of fish, but I caught fish. So I feel like that's the important part, you know, is that I caught fish. And I caught them on top water, so that was really cool. I also I, I wanted to ask you guys how was that view because I felt like it was a bit weird you know with you guys being on my head and whatnot it definitely felt weird you know moving around I kept thinking that the camera was gonna fall you know into the water 
or whatever but awesome day of fishing even with that bass boat coming through and you know doing his thing uh he was actually a pretty cool guy and the guy on the dock i actually see every time i come out there he is he's out here whenever i come out here and we've never said a word to each other Ooh, scary uh we've never said a word to each other but we greet each other every single morning and i think it's really cool so that's the video you guys i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time